What is up everybody and welcome to another job tutorial. Once again, this is Andrew and this video is going to be about composition. So in our last video, we went over inheritance and remember inheritance used the extends keyword and it creates an is a relationship. Now composition, which is very, very, a very important concept in object oriented programming. Composition is when you have an instance of a different class, a separate class, within another class. So you don't inherit it. It doesn't inherit the behaviors and attributes, but it actually has an instance of that class, in that class. So remember how inheritance creates a is a relationship? Composition, you can think of creating a has a relationship. And that'll make sense make sense in just a second. All right, so we're gonna go off the last code that we just used and I added another class and it's gonna be this right here, person class. So pause your video, create this person class really fast. Okay, so we have the person class that we made. We already had the pet and the dog and the cat in our main setup. Now let's fill out this person class and it's not gonna be abstract but we're gonna use composition instead of inheritance. All right, so if we're gonna have a person, they need to have a name, and this is where composition comes into play. We are gonna give this person a pet. Now, the pet is actually the data type. That class is the data type. So we have a string data type, and that's gonna be the name that's gonna store the name. So that person is gonna have a name of string, and then the person is also gonna have a pet of pet. And that's where composition is. It, it creates a has a relationship. So I can instantiate a pet, essentially when I create a dog and a cat, but now I can actually give this person a pet. So now the person has a pet. So I would have an instance of a different class within this person class. All right, let's continue with the person class. We need our constructor. And we will just set the name for now. And then we just want to have getters and setters. So we have a name and a pet. So let's generate our getters and setters for that. And remember in Eclipse, just go to source in your toolbar, generate getters and setters, I'll select all. And then now if we look at it, we can get the name set the name, get pet, set the pet. And you'll see right here, the return type for getting the pet returns a pet object. So the name returns a string, but the pet returns a pet object. And that's composition. So you actually have an instance of a class in another class. And it's really helpful when you need classes to communicate with each other because generally that's how things work in the real world is you have, like, if, okay, think about this. If you have a car engine, that has a lot of things working together. And that's basically what composition is. It's a lot of things simultaneously working together for a bigger reason. So that's what composition is. And this is a, a nice and easy, simple example for it. Okay, so we we're able to set our pet and our getter pet. So let's go ahead and go to our main class again and create a person. So we'll say person, we're gonna use our person class, person object equals new person. And all we need to pass in is a name for this. Use mine. And then let's create another person. Person two equals new person. and Max. So we have Andrew and Max. So we just created two people and we could get their names and they don't have pets yet. Pet would essentially be null. So 
let's give them these pets that we created earlier. So in order to do that, you're going to call your object. So per one dot set pet. And this is what a setter is used for. And then we can put in our pet objects into it. So we will put in my dog for person one. And then for person two, we will set the pet and then put in my cat. So now up here, I created objects of pets. We have a dog that is a pet and a cat that is a pet. And in here, I used composition to attach this dog object to that person, this cat object to that person. And to demonstrate that, I'm just going to have it display the screen. We'll have, we're going to call our person one. And we'll have we'll get the name of person one, and then put has a pet named, and then let's say per one dot get pet dot get name. So this is going to get the name of the the person one object, which is right here. Here's the name. It'll concatenate it with this string right here, has a pet named, and then person one dot get pet, and then get name. So it'll get the name of the pet of person one. And let's just do that for person two as well. Okay, let's run this. All right, so from before, we already had Spike said bark, Fluffy said meow, and now we instantiated two person objects and then gave them, used the setter methods to set the pets with composition. And you can see here, it says Andrew has a pet named Spike and Max has a pet named Fluffy. And that's what composition is. It's using instances of classes within other classes and creating that possession and also having them work together. So an easy way to remember composition of like when you might need to use it is think of the relationship has a. So a person has a pet named Spike. Max has a pet named Fluffy. So you can think as has a as the composition, and pet is going to be what your generic class is. So I hope that helped. Composition is really easy, and like after you use it for a little bit and mess around, you'll start to understand it, and it's extremely helpful and a huge concept in object-oriented programming. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.